This video is one of a series of how-to videos that we at Lisaga have put together to assist you in the field. To find other videos, just do a YouTube search using Lisaga as your keyword, and you'll find we have posted videos on some common procedures that you perform in the field, such as how to safely remove the travel blocks on our constant supports or our variable springs. We have videos on how to field adjust the load that a constant or a variable spring is exerting on the piping system. If the video you'd like to see is not there, just let your leasing a contact know and we'll try to make it soon. Thanks for your interest. Today, we will show you the steps required to properly remove the travel stops on a Lisiga constant support. Depending on where you live, you may also know these as travel stops, travel blocks, blocking, or gags. It is important to understand that you should never attempt to remove any of the travel stops until all of your hangers are installed in their correct location, all of the pipe insulation and jacketing has been installed, and the distance from the pipe to the hanger is dimensionally correct. In other words, it matches the hanger drawing. Let's start by naming the parts of the constant support so you know what you should and should not adjust to remove the travel stops. These red things here are your travel stops, or as we call them, blocking or gags. They come in many shapes and sizes depending on the size of the constant. The pin here is your main pin or your load pin. It is connected to the uh, top of the main spring. The only time this pin sees load is when the travel stops are in place. This is your name plate. The information on the plate is your model number or your type of constant, the calibrated load, the calculated travel, and your hanger mark. This scale here is uh, your travel scale. This one goes from zero to six inches. Yours may be different. As your plant goes from hot to cold, this will show you the actual travel that your pipe is moving. The strip here is your load scale. If you compare this to the calibrated load on your nameplate, they should match. These two sets of bolts here are your load adjustment bolts. Normally you will not need to adjust these to take out your travel stops, but if you do, there will be a separate video that will cover this process. This is your swivel nut. Hopefully this is the only thing you will need to adjust to remove your travel stops. Turning the swivel nut in a clockwise direction will increase the tension on the piping. Turning it in the opposite direction will release tension on the pipe. It is important that you know of the sight hole here on the swivel nut. That is so you can make sure you have full thread engagement at all times while you're adjusting your swivel nut. You can use a rivet, you can use a straightened paper clip, you can use a piece of wire, just insert it in the hole, and if you can feel the threads, you have proper engagement. If you do not, you will need to stop your installation, increase your thread engagement by turning the swivel nut in a clockwise direction until you can fill the threads. And then you will have proper thread engagement and you can continue your installation. Okay, now let's talk about the steps you should go through to remove the travel stops. The first thing to do is to remove the C-clip and the washer that hold the travel stop in place. There is an identical clip and washer on the opposite side. Once these are removed, look at the pin in relation to the red travel blocks. Uh, there are two possibilities. The pin is pushing against the top of the red travel stop, like in this picture, or the pin pushing against the bottom of the travel stop, as in this picture. You will want the pin in the middle of the travel stop, like the picture here so that you can easily remove the travel stops. 
When the pin is in the middle of the stops, it is not applying any pressure on the stops and the stops will come out easily by hand. No pry bars, no screwdrivers are necessary. To move the load pin up or down inside the travel stop, we turn the swivel nut. Turning the swivel nut clockwise will cause the load pin to move down. Turning the swivel nut in a counterclockwise will cause the pin to move up. Keep track of the direction and the number of turns you make to the swivel nut so that you can return it to its original position after the travel stops are out. In most cases, adjusting the swivel nut is the only thing you will need to do to remove your travel stops. Once the travel stops have been removed, you can secure them under these bolts on the side that are specifically designed to hold the stops while the plant is in operation. This ensures that your blocking is always readily available with each individual constant support. At this point, there's one last but very important step you're required to do for the safety of everyone standing or walking below the constant hanger. Remember the two sets of C-clips and washers that we removed earlier. All of those must go back on the load pin in order to keep it in place while the plant is in operation. And then we will do the other side. Now your constant hanger is completely installed and ready for operation. We would like to thank you for your time and attention and feel free to call us if you have any other additional questions.